Will the stock market crash? Hi, it's Charlie giving you uh, today's video. I think I'm recording this a week in advance whilst I'm away. So I think this will be going out on the Wednesday. Um, will the stock market crash? Um, it's uh, such a commonly asked question. And um, if it's asked commonly, then it's the answer is it's unlikely to because markets crash when the majority don't think markets are going to crash. That's tends to be how it works. If you look at what happened with Bitcoin just recently, just a couple of months ago, everybody was euphoric about Bitcoin when it was at 60,000, talking about it going to 100. It's not that it couldn't have gone directly to 100, but once you get so many people who are euphoric about a market, then so often they're not expecting it to go down. And that's the sort of thing that happens. Then Bitcoin fell down to what, 30,000 30, or so or less. So all the time people are thinking about the stock market crashing, it's less likely to crash. It's once the majority are all thinking that the market can only go higher, that then you have to worry about there being maybe being a crash. So at the moment, um, the stock markets, and of course, at any time in the future, there could be a decent correction. But one, if you're a long term investor, why even worry about that? There's always going to be corrections at some time or other. Two, if you're a, a shorter term trader, um, why are you trying to predict where the markets are going? No one knows where the markets are going. Forget all the rubbish you see on YouTube and all these other places where people are making predictions. We're not in the business as traders of making predictions. Anyone who makes predictions to you is talking out their, their butts. So what all we're doing is trading and we're trading um, probabilities or eventualities. Some of those trades will work out for us and we'll, um, and of course, by pl placing a trade, of course, you are essentially having to have targets most likely on, on, on those outcomes. But you just know as a trader that you're going to be right on some of them and, and, and not right on others. And yet people get so fixated about knowing where the stock market's going to go next or where uh, oil or gold is going to go next. Just trade. That's all you need to do. Just trade. And so you don't need to get caught up in where. And, and this is why analysis, when you see, you know, when you, uh, for example, you know, um, investment banks might put have analysts. Now, analysts aren't traders. They're, they're paid to analyze a particular stock or a market or whatever and put out notes on that particular uh, stock or, or market. And likewise, I could do analysis videos for you, but if I haven't got any skin in the game, if someone says, "Charlie, what do you think about the stock? The, you know, the S and P 500, like this chart here." Well, if I haven't got any skin in the game, then yeah, I could say, "Yeah, it could do this, could do that." But really, is it really any use to you? I beg to differ. I think not really. I could give you my views, and half the time they'll be right, half the time they'll be wrong. Well, is that really going to help you? Probably not, because some of the time you'll be it, my my view might be in line with your view, and that might work out. And other times it won't, and it won't. So in the main, it doesn't. But the point is, you just don't need to know where a market's going next. And as far as whether there's a crash coming at some point or whatever, all of the time that there's millions of people out there thinking the market might crash, it probably won't. Just be, always bear that in mind. When there's euphoria in a market, like in uh, the stock market in in uh, the late 90s, when everybody was long and everybody was saying, oh, you've got to be crazy not to be long the market, that's the sort of time that you want to be um, have, being a bit more cautious to whether a market is going to crash. And, um, and likewise, when everyone's pessimistic, then when everyone's pessimistic, then it usually pays to be more optimistic um, um, because when the majority are on one side of the market, the market so often will end up doing the other. And just remember, that's the, the best recent example I have is actually if we go back to Bitcoin and we go to, this is just the Bitcoin futures, um, and we go to um, Bitcoin since what it peaked in in April and um, it, there was a lot of euphoria and you remember if you go back to my videos in March 
I talked about why I, I was cashing out in Bitcoin. Go back on this YouTube channel, go back to my videos back in March and, and uh, March, April time where I started talking about why I was cashing in on Bitcoin. Basically, there were too, there was too much euphoria in that market. I might have been a little bit early because you never pinpoint it exactly, but um, but certainly you can look at it now and say, actually, that was a pretty good exit. When the majority are thinking one thing, you need to be looking the other way. Hopefully that helps. Take care for now. See you next week.